Hello and welcome to this introductory course on ChatGPT for teaching and learning. I'm Nurujaman Faruqi, a senior lecturer of the Department of Software Engineering of Daffodil International University. I'm also an author, a researcher, and a YouTuber. My lectures on neural networks using MATLAB rank globally one on YouTube and Google search. I've written three books so far. One of my books, Open Source Computer Vision for Beginners, is the best in the world in this category according to bookauthority.org. I have research collaborations with academicians from Swinburne University of Technology, Sydney of Australia, Central University of Brazil, Queensland University of Technology of Australia, Kyoto University of Foreign Studies of Japan, Kennesaw State University of United States, University of Queensland of Australia, Coventry University of United Kingdom, Al Balka Applied University of Jordan, Dubai Pharmacy College of United Arab Emirates. I published 15 research papers and received an award for research impact at International Joint Conference on Computational Intelligence in 2019. One of my papers was recently featured in New York Weekly. It is an American newspaper. I'm also a co-investigator in one of the projects of King Abdulaziz University of Saudi Arabia. And today, I will be your instructor for this course and I will share how we can use ChatGPT for teaching and learning. The human brain is estimated to be a gigantic network of 86 billion neurons. Undoubtedly, it's a massive network, isn't it? You have all heard of artificial intelligence, also called AI. It is a field of computer science and software engineering. However, it has grown so big that universities are now offering bachelor's degree in AI. As a matter of fact, there is a university in the United Arab Emirates named the Muhammad bin Zayed University of Artificial Intelligence. So, you understand, it is no longer just an undergraduate level course. It has become a full-fledged four-year bachelor's degree program. Now the question is, why are we talking about AI instead of discussing about how to use ChatGPT? Well, the answer is common. A popular branch of AI is machine learning. A sub-branch of machine learning is deep learning. Artificial neural network is at the heart of deep learning. The human brain is a neural network of around 86 billion neurons and artificial neural networks are networks of artificial neurons. The chat GPT is a transformer based neural network with over 175 billion artificial neurons. So this is our brain and this is chat GPT's brain. Now Having a massive brain is useless if we don't learn to use it. So, how do we learn? We learn from social interaction, reading books, attending classes, and many other ways. How many books you have read so far? I bet it is not more than 1000. How many people you have interacted with so far? Perhaps less than a thousand. ChatGPT learned from 45 terabytes of text, including books, articles, websites, and digital content. It learned from technical books, poetry, fiction, newspaper, and any other content source you can think of. How big are 45 terabytes of text? You are familiar with a four size paper, right? It is the paper we use to print document. 
45 terabytes of text means 11.25 trillion FO papers. That means ChatGPT learned from 11250000000000 pages of text. If you take 5 minutes to read a page, it will take more than 108506944.4 years for you to complete this many pages. That means 108.507 million years. Somehow, if you survive for 108 million years and read 11.25 trillion pages, my question to you is, how much can you remember? ChatGPT remembers everything and can use all of the knowledge it has. Amazing, isn't it? And today, in this course, we will see how can we use ChatGPT's knowledge? How can we use the power of ChatGPT for a better teaching learning experience? It is massive, you understand that. It is not possible to explain everything. As a matter of fact, it is a new technology. Nobody knows everything. I know a little because I've been using it in my classroom to better the experience of the students and also make it easier for me. What I have learned so far, exactly that thing will be shared in this course. I hope that this course will help you to understand how to use ChatGPT for teaching and learning.